Uh, Nick, how about a pure storage? Um, well, what's it look like? You just kind of gave us a, a picture of what you're going to focus on this year. Uh, what's the storage play, the DevSecOps containerization going to look like in a couple of years? I'm glad you asked. Uh, the, the thing that we're seeing is that the cost of materials for advanced technologies is declining over time. And that's sort of a known. But what we've seen this year, and this is you know acutely relevant to us as a flash storage manufacturer, is that the cost of flash as a storage medium has now fallen below the price of disk. So what we expect to see is a, is a literal exponential increase in the velocity uh, with which we can move data in organizations. So what this translates to is really fast cars for world-class drivers will now be much more readily available across organizations to the point where it won't be remarkable that you have systems that are capable of moving terabytes of, of data per minute or per second um, and, and thus enabling us to get to answers faster, to derive insights faster. We've seen this happen throughout, for example, the coronavirus. Um, the research and development uh, required to create uh, and monitor uh, the deployment of inoculations to follow the disease as it progresses, as it moves across the population, et cetera, ha has been fundamentally impacted by the ability of organizations like the CDC to actually manipulate that data, receive that data, and derive insights from it within minutes as opposed to what historically has been weeks and months. That's just going to become de rigueur. We're going to see it everywhere, but it's going to be driven by some fundamental shifts underneath. It's, uh, it's, it, we live in exciting times. It, it is, uh, it is a, an era in which the infrastructure may actually be able to keep up with the increase of the raw materials. And that would be data in this case. Uh, and the 